hello everybody it's match day it's Preston North End who are here at Ellen Road today I'm gonna go with a big 3-0 win for the Whites confident with this one job done revenge on this lot Archie Gray to have a better performance against Liam Miller Brown not to be in the game dominated by Gruev Kamara whoever's gonna be starting um, it's a wet cold day at Ellen Road um, but yeah I'm going to be going with a 3 0 Leeds win. Score to nil. Um, and yeah, everyone, let's get into it. I have to say, 20 minutes in, I've just gone for a little toilet break. Uh, not great, not great so far. Uh, Preston getting into it, um, Leeds United. I don't know, a little bit, a little bit, just a bit, it's just a little bit different. This is a bit odd, uh, but we're getting into it a little bit. We need a little bit more pockets of space on that left hand side, it's working. Um, Bamford needs to start holding on to the ball a little bit more. I think we're losing it in that respect, but I'm going to get back in there now. Still predicting Leeds 3 1 win. Come on. Oh, 
Jesus. <laughs> go everybody hope you enjoyed that one a tense tense affair it has to be said Leeds United get the win bloody hell it's Leeds all over that isn't it letting us just making us just have that tension towards the end of games but massive win for us let us know what you think in the comment section below do you think 
that that was a worthy win? Do you think we were flat? Do you think we were rubbish? What are your thoughts? I thought we were we were good then in terms of like towards the end. I thought we, you know, hit the ignition a little bit and, and Leeds came into it a little bit. But for the for 80 minutes, I mean, bloody hell, it was it was tough to watch. And Preston really had a game plan on us. They knew exactly what they were doing. And I just think it's, you know, unfortunately, it's just where leads are at sometimes in terms of teams coming and trying to make us play a certain way, which is disappointing because we seem to feed into that. Coventry did the exact same thing towards the end of the game when they started getting into it a little bit, Rotherham. But this lot were an absolute joke in terms of just going down, making things difficult. It was just embarrassing, to be quite honest with you. I thought um, the standard of refereeing is just diabolical, but we all know that in this division anyway. Um, yeah, just... Enthused that we got the win. That was if we hadn't have won that, that'd have been autos done, in my opinion. It was done. I was ready to come on a come on a stream and videos and say that was it. But gr great sort of company today as well. A lot of you guys coming up and saying hello. Um, as I say, it was freezing cold in Leeds today, but fantastic win for Leeds. Needed to get that one done. It was a tough one. We've reversed the 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 game. I mean, I thought. Miller was we played really well. Him and Archie's battle was a little bit more even this time. I thought that sometimes Miller would beat him, Archie would beat him, but Archie did very, very well in comparison to that first game where Miller sort of had him a little bit. Um, battles all across the pitch, though, but Kamara thought he was slightly poor, but the atmosphere today, as I'm sure a lot of Leeds fans would admit, was a little bit flat, but towards the end, getting that goal, that just really took Leeds on in terms of just that level of noise and across the pitch, you know, I thought, I thought overall, you know, Leeds did deserve the win. It was a tough one, but, you know, Leeds got the win. 2-1 victory. It's the fourth win on the bounce, which is key. Momentum. And we didn't play well today. It's obvious we didn't play well today. But at the end of the day, we got the win. You know, getting the win is huge. And that's what I think we need to, you know, we need to take away from this. Leeds getting the win. Perot comes on. Great shout out to him as well. Coming on the pitch in that pressure cooker. All the fans around me, as you'll see by the, <clears throat> by the vlogs and all that sort of stuff. We're absolutely terrified of Bamford having it, but it is what it is. Bamford didn't have it. I think he was just a little bit of a, almost a shadow. Then you thought Somerville was having it. He wasn't. And then you thought, you know, you think, oh, is Perot going to have it? He has it. And then it's fantastic. Leeds get, Leeds get that one done. So massive win for Leeds. If you've enjoyed this sort of like bit part vlog, leave a like on the video, everybody. We're going to try and bring different things. I want to get here more often, speak to a few more of you, maybe get a few more of you on camera as well. Shout out to Jay, who I saw today, massive fan of the channel as well. Guys, if you want to donate as well to get me down here a little bit more often, there's a thanks button. Patreon, hit the link in the description below. Also, if you want to join as a YouTube member, you might have to go in your browser. I don't think on an iPhone or an Android, you can just go on the app. You'll have to go in your browser, go on YouTube on the browser, and then there is the join button there. Thank you so much for being part of this One Leads video, everybody. There's much more to come. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in a bit.